What's going on my YouTube family? It's your man Emmanuel Rutledge with By All Means Fitness and Beyond Fit Health and today we're going to talk about intermittent fasting. Okay, so what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is when you eat within either a four hour window and then you fast for 20 hours or you eat in an eight hour window and you fast for 16 hours. Intermittent fasting is starting to become a big thing. Uh, I first learned about it, I was like, man, sound more like to me you starving yourself. I don't think I can get down with that because your man like to eat, so I was kind of skeptical about it. But then I heard about all the health benefits that come along with intermittent fasting. So one is your mind. You start to think sharper, like you have all this brain energy. It's, 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 a, it's a little crazy because you be so focused when you're fasting. Another benefit is that it helps with your, your hair, your skin, and your nails. Another benefit to intermittent fasting, and this is the one that really caught my attention. It was the fact that your pituitary gland in your brain starts to produce human growth hormones. What are human growth hormones? Human growth hormones are what bodybuilders inject themselves with. However, our body can make these hormones naturally, which means it's safe, all right? It's good. Once I learned about that, I was like, wow. So you mean to tell me, okay, hey, it can have your boy get right. And not only that, you're saving money. And Preparing food, it takes a lot of time. Sometimes you just want to be like the heck with it, you know. So you got more time on your hand, you save money, and you get muscles too. Okay, that's a win-win-win that's a situation. So, of course, I started intermittent fasting. The first time I did it, I went 26 hours without eating. And I went to the gym, and I worked out. And I was like, let's see if I done got any stronger. So I'm lifting weights in, like... I could, I don't know if it was just in my head or if it was seriously like I had gotten a little bit stronger than what I usually was. However, it really don't even matter whether I got a little bit stronger or not. What really got me was, okay, it's been 26 hours since I ate something. It's been a whole day before your man has ate anything. So if anything, I shouldn't be strong at all. I should be weak. I should be tired. I shouldn't be able to lift no weights. It was the opposite. I did it for a few days. I started dropping weight real quick and I started getting cut up and I got to the point where I, I, had, I stopped doing the intermittent fasting because I didn't want to be too skinny or whatnot. However, I was getting real cut up. You know your boy got them pictures on deck. So I'm going to show y'all the month of April when I went into intermittent fasting and to be honest, I went into intermittent fasting like towards the end of April, and my body just started making a dramatic change. So here go the photo. Yeah, so as you see, I got like very toned up within a small amount of time. And that's how intermittent fasting works. So if you're someone who's trying to get rid of some body fat or lose weight, Intermittent fasting is what you want to do. So, some things that you can consume while you're fasting. Alright, so, one, water. I would recommend that you do spring water because spring water, it hasn't been touched. It still has all your minerals in it. Not purified water, not distilled water, a lot of those things. While they're purifying the water, it takes all the minerals out of it and then they use citric acid to actually help purify the water which makes the water acidic all right nine times out of ten your spring water is going to be naturally alkaline and that's what you want you want to have alkaline water in your body but the next thing that you can consume is coffee no cream no sugar when you're fasting remember you don't want to eat no calories so coffee plain coffee by itself that's safe it has no calories also, it will help you curve your appetite if you get hungry. Not only that, it will also give you energy. Also, it will help your body go into 
to ketosis quicker. It'll help your body make that change from using sugar to using fat as energy, which is what you want. So you want to drink some coffee, black coffee. Like me, I put a little bit of ice in mine so it ain't so hot. And then I chug it. I force myself to drink it. And now it's, it's like I kind of like it. You want to do coffee even if you're not hungry because it's going to speed up that process and get you into fat burning mode quicker. Next on the list is green tea or any type of tea as long as it doesn't have calories in it. Green tea is, is great for helping you go into a deeper state of fast as well. And I don't know if y'all ever pay attention, but if you look at some of your natural fat burners, it's going to have green tea extract in it because green tea it helps burn fat. So that's another thing that you want to add while you're fasting so that you can get into a quicker fat burning mode. Okay, next on the list is salt. Yes, sodium. So listen, sodium is not bad. The only bad sodium that you can have is processed salt. If you got processed salt, throw it out and get you some Himalayan salt or some sea salt. I recommend Himalayan salt because Himalayan salt it has 84 of your minerals in it and minerals that's what our body is made out of let me explain this real quick so sodium and water works together all right so when you're fasting if you're drinking a lot of water you want to get you some sodium in because once again it has a lot of minerals in it and you want to give your body some minerals believe this or not some people they think that sodium is bad and they'll stay away from sodium, but they'll drink a lot of water. And people have died from drinking too much water and not getting no sodium in them because they flush all the minerals out of their system and their body shuts down. So there's always a balance. So if you were going to do a fast and you wanted to add some, if you had a gallon of water and you wanted to add some salt to it so you can get your minerals in it, I would suggest like, a whole teaspoon to like half a teaspoon. Also, salt, it will help you curb your appetite as well. Sometimes you may think that you're hungry, but really your body just need once again, those minerals. Once you get those minerals, then it's like, oh, okay, I'm good. I'm good to go. You know, we can go, we can go a few more hours without some food. You know, we'll be good. We'll be good. All right. So, right here. Yeah. Next on the list is lemon juice. Not the count the sugar in it. I'm talking about the concentrated lemon juice. Or you can take a lemon and you can squeeze it in your water. I would prefer the lemon that you squeeze in your water, like the natural stuff, because the other stuff is from concentrate. And you know, I'm not gonna go into that, but trust me, yeah, you want the you want the lemon. As a matter of fact. So yeah, all right, so next on the list. Either lemon or lime. I would prefer lime because it's more alkaline than a lemon. All right. So you may want to add some of that to your. Next on the list is limes or lemons. Now you don't want to eat it. Nah. What you want to do is you want to take and squeeze the juice into your water, and you can drink it like that. If you just want to give your water some type of flavor. Plus, it's going to help detox you and flush you out. Next on the list is something that I really don't recommend. However, you can do it, and that's zero-calorie drinks. Whatever it takes for you to get over that hump, to not be hungry, you know, go for it. Because you got to get yourself over that hill. I can't do it for you, but if I could, you know I would. I love you. Moving forward. So, those are all, oh snap, there's one more thing on the list, and it's apple cider vinegar. Okay, so apple cider vinegar does have a few calories in it, but it's only a little bit, and it's going to help you go into a deeper fast. All of those things you have to overcome your cravings, overcome your hunger, you know, to get you to that to get you to that through that 16 hours or that 20 hours. So intermittent fasting, I definitely recommend it. I, I tell my clients who I train, if they want to lose weight, I tell them this is the best way to go because you also want to think about your health 
as well. And like with intermittent fasting, your body has time to reset. And the cells that are usually transferring food, they get they actually get a chance to rest and work on the other cells and repair them. And and your body just get a it get think about it. Like your body is a factory and the food that you put in, that's the workload, alright? And if you're eating, 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 then you're overworking your body and it's saying like I can't I can't get caught up. You know, they 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 get more than they can put out and it's like we exhausted, which is which leads to certain illnesses, certain situations in our life. And I think I should have went back and said this, but let me break down what calories really are. Calories are called units of energy, and this is why. Plants take energy from the sun to create carbs, proteins, and fats. Alright? So for each gram, for each one gram of protein, you have four calories. For each one gram of carbs, you have four calories. And for each gram of fat, you have nine calories. So proteins, fats, and carbs hold calories, alright? So when you're eating calories, all you're really doing is eating energy. Our body utilizes that energy so that it can function and so that you can make it through your day. However, if you eat too much energy, your body will store that energy as fat to use later on when maybe you don't have any food or anything like that. However, when we continuously eat because we see something and we think, oh wow, that looks good. I'm going to eat it instead of thinking, I need to eat for energy, not eat to uh, fulfill some type of desire or eat because it makes me happy because it wasn't created for that. I'm sorry. I know. I shouldn't say that. But it's the truth. Alright. So, going forward. So, you eating all this energy. You're never using the energy. So, it's just being stored. It's being stored. It's being stored. It's being stored. And then you know, oh my goodness, I'm going to be some out of shape. And that's how it happens. So, all you need to do is cut down on your eating. And that's why intermittent fasting is so powerful because now you're giving your body time to utilize some of that energy that it has stored as fat. One more thing, when you get ready to break your fast, whenever you get ready to eat, you want to eat something that has lean protein or that's lean in fats. You don't want to eat anything that's high in carbs because your body is very insulin sensitive and if you eat if you eat something that causes your insulin to spike, it will spike like tremendously. Insulin is like your number one fat storing hormones so once you even though you fasted for so long if you eat something with like sugar processed sugar in it or it's a processed carb it's going to cause your insulin to spike and it's going to be like almost as if you never went on a fast because your body's going to store fat just that much more faster so you want to make sure that when you break your fast you do it with something that's high in proteins or high in fats and you don't want to eat nothing that's way too heavy. You want to like kind of ease your body back into eating some food. We all fast when we sleep. When we wake up, we're supposed to eat break fast because we're breaking our fast. However, we should not eat a big meal. We should eat just a real light meal. And then our next meal should be a big meal because our body is already ready to eat something else. So, that's all I have for you all today. Stay tuned. If you have any questions, feel free to put your question down in the comments below and I will get back with you. I will answer them all. Uh, with that being said, you all be blessed. No, I love you. And always remember, your health is super important and we all want to be here and have longevity. With that being said, y'all have a blessed day.